In this video, we are going to be talking about Fraser Wilson's ab workout routines. Now, if you don't know who Fraser Wilson is, he's a famous Australian YouTuber who quite literally makes a living off of these ab workout videos. If you see somebody at the gym and they're like following along to like an ab workout, there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that it's a Fraser Wilson video. And I mean, who can blame them? The titles, thumbnails on point, there's some shit I do. Just tell me that I'm gonna get abs by following this workout routine. Get six pack abs fast, get six pack abs in 10 minutes. 10 minute ab workout routine, guaranteed abs, get abs in four weeks and then you click the video and then bang there's just some shredded dude cranking out the windmills in his living room or whatever he's in some sit-ups crunches just like the typical abs body weight circuit a bunch of just like random like high rep no rest time just body weight abs exercises it's pretty much just like exactly what you imagine the video to be i want to do this workout this abs workout is going to give me six pack abs yes yeah, there are just three main issues not even just related to fraser's videos but related to just abs body weight circuit workouts in general first of all a huge disproportionate chunk of getting six pack abs is going to be from diet i know you've probably heard of that like 80 20 rule 80 percent diet 20 percent ab training but in all honesty that's generous realistically it's like 90 percent diet now i'm not saying that ab training is totally useless but the main player in getting six pack abs without a doubt is going to be diet not ab training so although these videos promise you six pack abs in x amount of weeks the reality is that you could literally do these workouts every single day for the rest of your life and if you don't lose enough weight to get to a low enough body fat percentage you will never ever have six pack abs furthermore you cannot spot reduce fat spot reducing fat is a myth so even if you are cranking out these workouts every day it's not like you can just target the stomach and lose the fat in that area fat loss is an all or nothing thing and you are going to lose fat by eating in a calorie deficit over over time where you lose the fat you have absolutely zero ability to control that's all predetermined through genetics unfortunately areas of your body towards your midframe such as your stomach and love handles are actually the last place to go and the only way you are going to lose fat in those areas is again by just eating in a calorie deficit over the weeks to just lose enough fat over time for the fat loss process to reach that area and like i said in most cases losing the stomach fat will come from losing the last few pounds now that that's out of the way even if you were to train your abs abs by way circuits are borderline useless all right they're straight garbage when you're training your biceps when you go like this for just 30 reps with no weight weight zero rest time then go like this for 30 reps no rest time like no that's not how you train any muscle group hey the abs are not some magical muscle that work best with these high rep crazy bullshit circuit style workouts like no you know train them close to failure in say a 6 to 12 rep range with just normal rest times now the issues with abs byway circuits is that one it's really difficult to train close to failure when you're training in that high rep range two it's so damn hard to use progressive overload you know the main stimulus for muscle growth when you're training in high rep circuit styles like that and three past like 15 reps of pretty much any exercise you're more so training for endurance and not hypertrophy. So even if you were to grow your abs through abs training, ab byway circuits are borderline useless. The vast majority of the population can do well more than 15 sit-ups or crunches or just circuit style exercises. Now instead, what you're actually going to want to do is focus on the hanging leg raise for your lower abs and the weighted crunch for your upper abs. If you can't do a hanging leg raise yet, that's fine. Start off with just doing them on a mat, but try and work your way up to doing them while hanging from a bar over time. This way you can focus on using progressive overload and getting stronger in the 6 to 12 rep range like you would with any other muscle once you can do like 12 perfect reps on the hanging leg raise you are going to hands down have a well strong developed core i honestly would just try to maintain that strength but if you want to keep progressing and add weight to that lift you could simply just put a weight between your feet and for the weighted crunch for your upper abs it's pretty self-explanatory just focus on continuously increasing the weight over the weeks that is how you are going to get the biggest bang for your buck through trying to develop your abs through abs training definitely not by weight circuits so now that that's out of the way the only logical reason i could think as to why you would ever do an abs by circuit is to burn some calories which could then maybe help you get into a calorie deficit which could then result in you losing weight getting you a step closer to seeing your abs but guess what even on your most intense sweatiest abs byway circuit session you would burn a whopping 50 calories max that is literally the equivalent of half a granola bar so congrats you do this 10 minute intense ab session you're sweaty as shit uncomfortable and you earn yourself half of a granola bar you probably would have burned a slimmer of calories just walking on my damn treadmill so in conclusion no fraser wilson's ab workout routine will absolutely not get you six pack abs in fact they're kind of bullish and extremely misleading now i'm not hating on fraser wilson that's what you do as a content creator you double down on what works but this can be extremely misleading to some people i personally was the victim of this i was probably cranking out these workouts like three times a week for about six months it did absolutely nothing but this channel is dedicated into telling the truth and spreading correct information so yeah i really hope this video cleared things up for you guys i'll see you guys next time peace